Another term I'd like to explain to you is pulse width modulation, or PWM. We use PWM for many things in electronics. Today I'm going to talk about the PWM's usage to control motor controllers. Pulse width modulation is basically turning something on and off at a set rate. In our case, when you're trying to program a motor controller, PWM lets you tell your motor controller exactly how much power to output. One thing people get confused about is the usage of PWM wire. Even though it has PWM, pulse width modulation, in the name, it doesn't mean that that's the only thing it can do. Pulse width modulation wire, PWM wire, is also used for analog devices, digital devices, all, ki all kinds of things, solenoids and relays and I'm sure other things too. So just because I say PWM wire, it doesn't mean we are using pulse width modulation. So what is pulse width modulation anyway? Well, the way we're using it, it's a method of sending data from the serial, our programming, to a motor controller, telling it what to do. Before we move on, I gotta explain a couple words to you. The first word is period. Period is just the word for how long it takes for a graph to repeat itself. If you look on this graph over here, you can see that the 20 millisecond part is the period. So that graph will repeat every 20 milliseconds. The next word I need to explain to you is pulse width. The pulse width of that graph over there is 1.5 milliseconds. That's how long the signal is on. So again, on the graph, the period is 20 milliseconds and the pulse width is 1.5 milliseconds. For our motor controllers, we can use a between 5 and 20 millisecond period. In sending data to a motor controller, the pulse width varies between 1 and 2 milliseconds. Typically, with 1 milliseconds being all the way backward, 1.5 milliseconds being stop, and 2 milliseconds being all the way forward. If you look over here, you can see a graph showing examples of the commands you can send to a servo. So, in essence, PWM is telling your motor controllers what to do based off of how long your pulse width is.